Our foot soldiers this week are three young women, high school sophomores in the midst of taking finals, who are making the case to right what they consider a shocking wrong. Emma Axelrod, Sammy Siegel, and Elena Simbaris of Montclair, New Jersey, recently found out what any of us could have realized had we bothered to look. No woman has moderated a presidential debate since Carol Simpson of ABC News 20 years ago. How can the issues important to women be addressed if they haven't been given the chance to ask them, asked one, one of the young women. And they are doing more than asking the right questions. They're starting to take action in the form of a petition on change.org, which already has more than 100,000 signatures. They also have some suggestions for who the moderators can be. And let's be clear. There are plenty of women to choose from, like CNN's Candy, Candy Crowley, who has been covering presidential politics since the nomination of Jimmy Carter. Or Leslie Stahl, a 21-year veteran of the news magazine 60 Minutes and a White House correspondent during the Reagan administration. If comparable experience is of concern, consider PBS's Gwen Ifill, who has moderated two vice presidential debates, but never the big show itself. Now, and at the risk of sounding like a corporate shill, I'll proudly point to my colleague here at MSNBC, the award-winning Andrea Mitchell, who serves as both NBC News chief foreign affairs correspondent and the host of this network's superb daily show, Andrea Mitchell Reports. Our Jersey girl foot soldiers are growing up when one of the icons of cool is a woman who went from first lady to senator to presidential candidate to secretary of state, and when women voters are capable of deciding national elections but they've never watched a woman pose her own questions in her own voice to the men who seek the nation's highest office. The fact that there hasn't been a female moderator of one of the debates in so long is just another sign that America is a long way from being as equal as it thinks it is, another one of our young women from Montclair said. Indeed, these students have a Congress that thinks it's reasonable to discuss contraception without talking to any women. They live in a country where male lawmakers craft policy to peer inside women's pregnant bodies. And they live in a country where women still earn less than their male counterparts. Shouldn't they also live in a country where a woman has the opportunity to at least ask why? For pushing that idea forward, Emma, Sammy, and Elena are our foot soldiers this week. And that is our show for today. Thank